I'm not sure if you're all aware of this new firmware update for the M6 Mark II which fixes a specific issue and I'll let you know at the end which problem is solved. So stay until the end and you shall find out but first of all let's install this new firmware update shall we? Right so the first thing is first get an SD card and make sure that you have backed up or transferred all the files that you need on another storage device so you don't lose them. Then as you may know you have to format the SD card meaning that it will remove everything that was saved on it. You can either do this on the camera itself or on the computer. I'll show you both ways. If you wanted to do it on the camera then simply go into the settings and, and select the spanner tool then choose the option for format card and that's it. And now if you wanted to do it on the computer just go onto this PC, right click on the drive then click on format. Click on start and then press on ok or done. So since I'm from the UK, I'm going to demonstrate navigating to the update page with the video and voiceover but you will see both the UK and the US version just in case you live in the US but the concept is exactly the same for all the other countries too. Right so go onto the Canon's website, for the UK version go to the support tab then select download and help. Now on the search bar here, search for M6 Mark of course and select it and here from the firmware tab you could download this new firmware update which is 1.1.1 and that is the latest version for now. Here you have the option to download the version for Windows or Mac operating systems just select whichever you would like and click on download next to it. Go to downloads now on your computer then create a new folder. This just makes things a lot easier. Then transfer the downloaded file onto the new folder. Right click on it and select extract all as this file is a zip file so we need to extract the files from it. And you see this FIR file, this is the firmware that you need to transfer to the empty card. Now this folder that you can see which I'm trying to ignore is basically some instructions in different languages including English. But I'm going to demonstrate everything here so if I were you then I would have rather watched the video instructions as opposed to reading it out which can be quite frustrating at times. Right so before we move on to the next bit on this tutorial if you are getting any value from this video please could you smash that like button so I know you're still here. Now as you would do just eject this SD card safely from here and then remove it from the computer. Before you do anything on the camera make sure that you have switched the camera off, have a fully charged battery on as it may take a while for the firmware to download. Now insert the SD card that has the firmware on it. Also make sure that you have removed the lens and put the cap on. Thereafter dial the knob to P as required. Now right so go on to the setting from the spanner tab scroll across to page 5 and go down to firmware and here it will show you which version you already have on. Click on it then it will tell you that you are upgrading from what you already have to 1.1.1 which is obviously the latest version, then click on OK. Now since we are waiting for that to finish processing, I just remembered many of you have actually sent me messages on Instagram and Facebook about how I edit my voiceovers for my YouTube videos. I actually thought it was easier to demonstrate this via a video so next time anyone asks I could just simply share the link with them and that's it. And if you are one of them and you're curious about how I actually edit my voiceovers as well then get the link 
for the tutorial from the cards above and on the description box below. Now if the process is finished then you will see that you have updated it to 1.1.1 and here let me tell you why you would want to update to that version. Right so as of the Canon website it says firmware version 1.1.1 incorporates the following fix resolves the issue during interval time shooting that may result in the lens shifting when auto power off is enabled right then now with that said i wanted to wrap up this video i hope you liked it tell me on the comments on how you found this tutorial whether you liked it or not i want to hear it all don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and follow me on other social media platforms for news and update. Take care guys, bye!